Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com and ElectronicLessons.com. This is project number six for our multi-project electronic learning board. Um, this is the highly sensitive laser security circuit. This is the block diagram. And uh, if you want to know more about each of the blocks, what you have to do is look below for all of our tutorials. Uh, in this tutorial, you'll need to know, you'll, or for this video, you'll need to watch uh, tutorial number ten, sensors one. Uh, our tutorial number one, non-inverting operational amplifiers. Uh, tutorial number three, our 555 timer in monostable mode. Tutorial five, our counter, our 74LS93 binary counter tutorial. And um, tutorial nine, our actuators tutorial. So let me go through this. This is actually very similar to project number four, which was um, how to uh, clap on, clap off a relay. So we're going to do something similar. We're going to be using a relay and a buzzer so we can actually make a little, a fun little kit. Now the circuit comes with a laser and we're going to need to shine our laser on our LDR divider. And we'll get to that when we actually do this, the circuit on the electronics learning board. But here's our receiver circuit. This is the receiver in the conditioning circuit. Our LDR divider, you have to watch again, sensors 10. Uh, watching the uh, voltage divider tutorial doesn't hurt either and that's tutorial number two. When you when there's a change in light over the the light dependent resistor the LDR, um, we have an AC coupled circuit that couples uh, quick changes in light across a uh, small capacitor. So any change in light will get a little spike on our AC pin. And so what we want to do is we want to amplify that. So we can place it on the A A1 plus input. So the positive input uh, of our first operational amplifier, not in not inverting. Uh, operational amplifier. Uh, we can adjust the gain of the circuits. We can multiply this little spike by by up to uh, 51 on the board, or sorry, of 101. And so we just have to adjust it so that we can basically see that we're getting 5 volts out. What we want to do is turn this tiny little uh, few millivolt signal into a quick uh, 5 volt signal. And that's what we're going to do with the amplifier. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our A1 output, we're going to connect it to our LED, and we're going to be making changes in light over top of the LDR and we should see the LED blink because it's been amplified after we've tuned it. Anyhow, once we've tuned it, we take the A1 uh, out from the LED and place it on the input uh, of the monostable multivibrator. So we can turn a little spike, like rel relative to time, into a longer spike. Uh, we want to turn that into uh, uh, basically not a spike, but a pulse of about 0 0.2 seconds. Very, very important tutorial. All of these tutorials below are. Please watch them in full if you have time. Anyhow, so when we get that little spike, that little pulse, amplified pulse on the input, on the transistor driver of the 555 in monostable mode, what it'll do is it will trigger a delay. We can actually change the delay by adjusting our DLY potentiometer. I forgot to mention that our amplifier potentiometer is, is named gain one. And so we adjust that. We can adjust the pulse width by adjusting this, um, this potentiometer, variable resistor. And we can take the DLY output connected to our LED and actually um, calibrate our output so that it's roughly 0 0.2 seconds or 0 0.1 seconds. From there, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to take the DOI and put off the LED connected to the pl clock plus input of your 74LS93 counter. Uh, the AND1 pin should be grounded so that we actually have this fully enabled. Watch this tutorial to understand more about the AND1 and AND2 pins. And our LA toggles on the falling edge of every pulse coming from the 555 into monostable mode. So uh, one change in light will cause a pulse, and that will toggle output high. Another pulse will toggle it low, so it'll be on. Another pulse off. Another pulse on. Another pulse off. And we're going to connect that to our actuator pin. And first of all, we're going to connect it to our buzzer, actually. What we have to do is our actuator pin controls speaker, buzzer, motor, and relay driver. Uh, and so what we'll do first is we'll actually configure it for a buzzer by uh, selecting buzz on our jumper. And after we're done that, that will be our, our sound indicator that the line the laser is being broken. And then we'll change that jumper to uh, to relay so that we can actually turn on a, on a lamp when someone breaches a laser. Now what's special about this circuit is, if you just use the LDR divider circuit, uh, and, and a comparator like in project number 5, um, 
you can actually breach that laser beam really fast and still uh, and and it won't catch it because the LDR voltage on the divider doesn't change nearly as fast enough to catch a really really fast breach. Whereas this tiny little spike amplified happens no matter what. You breach that laser and there's a there's an abnormality on the line and it catches that across the uh, AC coupling. Now again, if you haven't watched the tutorials, a lot of this won't make sense, but if you watch these block tutorials, you'll be able, you'll be able to follow along with me and determine how all of these are working. Anyhow, why don't we uh, take this and we, we'll, we'll do it step by step on a board. First things first, our LDR is right up here with all the rest of the sensors. Your IR sensor, your vibration sensor, your LDR, your microphone. Um, and what you want to do is, this is the jumper I was talking about. We have to actually select LDR. Leftmost pins are, are labeled MIC for mic. Middle pins are L labeled LDR and rightmost pins are VIB. So what I have to do is take this jumper off, place it to short the two middle pins together. Now that will that will uh, enable our our LDR, which again is right here. Now the neat thing about this circuit is we can actually use this as a Jedi mind trick, and I'll get to that in a second. But now what I want to do is I want to take the uh, the AC pin I talked about in our last in the in the block diagram, and I want to connect it to our A1 plus pin. So that's the input of our um, non-inverting operational amplifier. And I want to take the A1 out, our output of that amplifier, and connect it to our LED. And I want to push these wires back. So what I was hoping was that change in light would, would uh, that change in light would activate the LED. Now it kind of does, but we need to turn our gain up. So our our uh, our gain one potentiometer is here, and so what I need to do is I need to turn the potentiometer left, I believe, to up the gain. See that? It might be hard for you to see it. I can see the LED turning on a little bit when the uh, when there's a change in light. If you can't, that's okay. Uh, because what we're going to do is we're now going to take this pin off, the LED, and we're going to put it on our in line. That This will activate our monostable multivibrator whenever there's a change in light. Oh, uh, one thing I forgot to do is to take the output of the monostable multivibrator, which is our DLY pin, and connect it to our LED. So now I can change that. If I want to change the delay, I take my DLY uh, potentiometer and I can turn it left to up the delay. The LED will turn on. I like to call that the Jedi mind trick. You will turn on. Anyhow, this is a laser detector kit, but you can use it to see variable changes in light. So, what I want to do is I want to turn the delay back down to a very short duration. Even shorter than that. Even shorter than that. Okay, so we might have to adjust that back a little bit. We will see. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the output of the monostable the multi the multi vibrator, sorry, and I'm going to place it on my clock one. So that's the input of my 74LS uh, 93. I'm going to take my one and I'm going to take and one, the and one output, and I'm going to connect it to the ground line. That will enable the timer. Now remember the out A. Out A pin will toggle every time there's a change in light. So let's connect our out A slash tog pin and place it to our LED. So after experimenting a little bit, I turned my gain or my, my delay up just a little bit on the uh, on the uh, monostable multivibrator. Now the triggering happens when the pulse goes low.
when it when it when the pulse falls. So you will see a little bit of a delay after the LED turns on. So there we go. Now our circuit is ready to be uh, our circuit is ready to be put on our buzzer slash relay. So what I'm going to do is right now I've got the actuator pin set to relay the the short the shorting jumper is set is, is connected to the middle two pins the RLY pins. So all I need to do is take the output on the LED the output from our on uh, our output one our output A tog pin and put it put it on our actuator pin. So you can hear the relay toggling on and off. So before we actually go and try to connect a uh, lamp to this uh, and and our laser, why don't we uh, why don't we turn off our power and change our actuator to our buzzer by putting our jumper on the leftmost pins, the BUZZ pins. Plug it back in. Okay, so I'm going to unplug it again, and uh, what we're going to do is uh, we, we will be putting a, a, a lamp, an AC lamp, on our relay output, but first of all, what I want to do is I want to get a laser beam, and I want to uh, connect it to the board. I've got it right here, and uh, to do that, you take the red wire, connected in this case to a yellow wire, place it on the 5V rail, 5 volt rail. Again, if you purchase this board, you will have the pinout for all of this and the black pin to ground. So as soon as we power it on, that relay or that uh, that laser will be powered. So we need to fixate it on the LDR so that we can trigger it with our finger. So I'm going to do that uh, so you don't have to watch me do it. So I'm going to plug it in. The output uh, of my clock will probably be high once I turn it on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line up the laser and it should turn it off. See that? Oh, I moved it. So it's very, very, very sensitive to changes in light. There you go. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a relay on this and I'm going to have the same circuit on the floor with the relay connected now or with the the relay connected and with uh, an, uh, an AC lamp connected so if you haven't seen how we connect an AC lamp uh, check out some of our previous videos the common pin uh, of the relay and the normally open pin when the relay is turned on they connect internally so you can cut an AC line cord uh, you can cut out of the hot or neutral wire place them in, the, in those pins and the relay connects them internally when the relay is turned on so we'll be using a lamp I've got my circuit with the laser pointed at the LDR. You can have, if you have an external power supply, you can have your laser pointed at the LDR from across the room. Uh, this is just for the sake of simplicity. I've got my two wires cut on my hot wire cut on the board, and uh, I've got the severed wires connected between the uh, CO and NO pins, common and normally normally open pins. So when the relay turns on, it applies power to the uh, to the lamp. So just give me a second. I'll zoom in on the circuit. Okay, so I'm going to break the laser beam. There you go. Extremely sensitive. Hope you like this video. Lots more coming. Uh, this is this has been uh, a, a lot of fun. I hope that some of you are following along and. Uh, even if you can't afford to buy one of these boards in the peripherals that you're still learning from it. Thanks a lot, guys. Really appreciate it. Uh, stand by for a bunch more videos, a bunch more projects.